Well, another day, another lie from IGN. I have not done this in a while. Frankly, this is uh, pretty ad hoc, but uh, figured you guys wouldn't care about this. Now, this is strictly on the regarding the the Halo Five Warzone multiplayer video uh, that IGN put up on September twenty eighth. So this is about a week old or so. So yes, it's a week old, but still, that doesn't make it any less bad or any less wrong. So basically, this is what this is: is a twenty. You're you're watching it right now, by the way, um, just so you can kind of see IGN's gameplay or whatever. But um, what this is is effectively this is uh, thirty minutes or so of IGN playing Halo Five Warzone multiplayer at the preview preview event the the Halo Five preview event that was a few weeks ago. Um, you know, because last week we you saw that there was a lot of uh, press releases, um, articles written, you know, a, a bunch of information about Halo 5. And a lot of it was on uh, around Warzone and, you know, uh, some additional information regarding the campaign also trickled out from various uh, outlets. But uh, today I'm specifically talking about IGN's commentary. And the, you'll, you'll see by the title of this video that they lied. Well, where did they lie? Well, if you actually go to roughly 13 minutes and 20 seconds into the video, and I'm going to link the video below so you can actually hear what they say, uh, one of the individuals claims that, uh, you know, despite all the, despite how big they made the levels, despite all the crazy art and whatnot, quote, this is still a crisp 1080 60 FPS, end quote. And uh, the other individual, I think his name is Jared Petty, uh, he he responds with, yeah, it just absolutely flies. This is a blatant lie. How is this a blatant lie? Well, Digital Foundry did a analysis on their time with Halo 5 Guardians. And they say, and this is, they basically told us that they're using a dynamic resolution scaling in the game. Now, if you, if you listen to our podcast, GamingTheIndustry.com, you'll you know that we discussed this on our previous episode, episode number 46. And this is, this is obviously, this is related to it. This, they're talking about, Digital Foundry is talking about the dynamic scaling resolution here. Now, what Digital Foundry found was that the game scales pretty low all the way up to full 1080p, but that full 1080p, you know, that is 1920 by 1080 that is fleetingly achieved. You know, it's, it's very, very rarely a hit. And this is an exact quote from them. Quote, What this technology means for the player is a constantly changing resolution during gameplay, ranging from something in the region of 1152 by 810 all the way up to a full 1080p. So that's a very, very low resolution, 1152 by 810. That is, <laughs> that's somewhere between... 720p and 1080p you know it's frank basically it doesn't matter what it is because it, it's still below 1920 by 1080 it is not a full 1080 it is frankly unacceptable in 2015 now i mentioned that ign lied well how did they lie well if you remember they said quote this is still a crisp 1080 60 fps that's the lie part it's actually not a crisp 1080 it isn't 1080p at all why digital foundry says quote Halo 5's new Warzone mode is the real showstopper, though. With among the largest maps yet seen in Halo series history, our hands-on with the raid on Apex 7 stage had 24 players battling across a large, vast island filled with caverns, woodland flourishes, and mountains outcrops. They continue, quote, It's in this map that we see Halo 5's dynamic resolution hitting the lowest value mentioned above, giving a noticeably muddier image when compared to the game's other modes, end quote. Now, that lowest value they talked about is that 1152 by 810. That is the resolution that uh, Digital Foundry observed during Halo 5 Guardians Warzone multiplayer. This is in stark contrast to the lie that IGN said, this is still a crisp 1080. Now, am I making a mountain out of a molehill? No, I don't think so. Why? Because these folks are journalists, these folks being IGN. They should know better. They know how sensitive gamers are, especially the console gamers who want a justification as to why they bought you know, their machines. They want to know, what did I spend $400 for? They have been told that they spent it for 1080p 60fps gaming. 
So these journalists should know better than to just lie. That The way that he said this line, this is still a crisp 1080 at 60 FPS, such a casual tone. And there was absolutely no research involved in making that statement because if he did, if he actually bothered to check, he would know that it's not 1080. He would just know that it's not 1080p. And... And this this is this is why I get so upset is because the it is their it is journalists' job to inform the consumer. The consumer wants information. Why are they why else are they watching this video? They want information on the game. That includes gameplay, yes. But also, you know, visual fidelity. How does the game look? How does it run? These are very, very valid questions to ask if you're a consumer. But then IGN goes, talks about gameplay, and then just spits out this lie in a, such a casual nonchalance that it's, it is just unacceptable. This should not be acceptable by journalists. It is their job to inform us, the consumer. You know, I am not a journalist. I, I should not have to go out and call these guys out on this. They should be informing me what everything is about this game that is true. And to spit out a lie so blatantly and so casually like this, it's unacceptable. I, I, I just, I cannot believe we're at a stage right now where, where, where journalists will just, not all journalists, mind you, it's just a select few, and IGN does this more than any other. So they will just say things without really researching them or backing them up or including, you know, tangible, quantitative, empirical evidence. They'll just say things. They, they've done this many times before, and they, they, just, they just say these things and expect consumers to believe them. Because guess what? Your average consumer, they're going to listen to IGN's video. They're going to say, oh man, so it is 1080p, it is 60 FPS, and they're going to believe that. And it, when it's not true, it's just a blatant lie. It's just not true. So this is, this is my little video rant thing for you all. Beware. Number one, beware of Halo 5's resolution and frame rate because it's not 1080p, you know, all the time, okay? They sacrificed resolution for a frame rate. Number two, watch out for sites like IGN and other journalists who will just lie to you without doing their research and doing their due diligence, which guess what? Their due diligence, that's their job. I should not have to sit here and do their job for them because I am not a journalist. They are. So watch out for people like this and just the sad thing is everything everything you see and read from these folks you have to second guess now which is sad because we should we should have to be able to rely on these folks to give us you know actual objective information sure you can have you know your subjective opinions but when it comes to news it has to be objective the source of truth and the truth is it's not 1080p so don't tell us it's 1080p Anyway, that closes out this rant, guys. Yeah, just um, this was very, very informal, off the cuff and ad hoc. Hopefully you guys found this informative and, uh, you know, like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and all that other good stuff. Peace.